hi everyone so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i made this beautiful looking bikini top so if you like to see how i made this top you continue to watch the video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful so i'll be using these two colors the pink and the peach color to make this top i'm going to start by making the body strap with a slip knot and i'll be making 450 chains because i want it to go around my body twice if you like tying your bikini at the back you can do 250 chains but mine i like strapping it back to the front so i'm going to make 450 chains so this is my 450 chains i'm done doing that next i'm going to slip stitch Cut the yarn and slip stitch it at the end. I'm going to start off from where I ended this with a peach color to make this strap more bold. So I'm going to join. In order to join, I will just um, pull the peach color through the last loop of the chain and then I'll chain one and drag the, pull the remaining strap back and that will make it strong. It will give it a strong hold. So I'll be making slip stitch with this peach color yarn in the 450 chains. In each chain, I'm going to place a slip stitch till I reach the last chain. And I will have 450 chains. So I'll show you when I'm there. Now I'm at the end of the chain, so I'm going to slip stitch and cut off my yarn. And I'm, I want my body strap to be more bold, so I'm still going to work on it again with the pink yarn. I'm going to attach my pink yarn on, and on the other side of the chain, I'm going to be doing slip stitches all the way down to the 450 chains again because I want it more bold but if you're feeling lazy and don't want to do this you can skip this part but mine I like it much bolder the body strap when it looks much bolder to me it looks better so I'm going to be doing this and it will make it look more bold and it will give it a strong hold when you strap it to your body when you tie it to your waist it will make it more thin so, as I said before, you can use it just the way it was. If you don't want to do this, no problem. It will still be nice. So, you can now see, if you check it, this other side is more bold than this other side of the chain. So, this is what I'm talking about. Um, so, you see the difference now. So, I'm going to do this till the end of the strap and then I'll start doing my bra cups. Now that I'm done with that, I'll start my bra cups with this peach color. I'll start with a slip knot and I am going to be making 15 chains for my own cup size. I'm using a big cup. For other cup, whether smaller, you can reduce it, or if it's a larger cup, you can increase the number. So, uh, 10 chains, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I'm going to be making three extra chains now. One, two, three. And that will serve as the first stitch. So, I'm going to place a double crochet at the fourth stitch. Leaving the three stitch I just made, I place a double crochet at the fourth stitch. Then next, I'm going to place another double crochet on the next stitch. And I will continue placing double crochets on each of the stitch of the chain. The chain, each chain is now uh, acting as a stitch. So if I call it stitch or chain, it's still the same thing. So I will continue placing double crochet on each chain till I get to the end of the row. 
so i'm now at the end of the row having one last stitch i'm going to be placing six double crochets at that very last chain or the last stitch so i'm placing one double crochet two double crochets three double crochets the fourth double crochet the fifth double crochet and the last six double crochets and the last six double crochet on that very same stitch after that i'll continue placing one double crochet on the the other side of the chain opposite to the other double crochet making sure i make it the same number of double crochet at the opposite side so on the opposite end of this side i'm going to be placing one double crochet till i get to the end of the row at the same time i'm trying to tuck in the loose yarn by just placing it along the line and crocheting it along as i go so when i get to the end i'll show you what to do next as because i'm using two color i'll show you how to join the color at the end so you just watch along now i'm at the end and this is the last stitch i have done so i'm going to make um this is the last stitch that very first chain that i made the three chains is the last stitch so i'm going to make a slip knot by just making one chain cutting my yarn pulling through and then knotting it to make it tight and hold so now i'm going to be attaching my pink color so to attach it as i've always been attaching the other one you just place your hook on the first stitch pull the pink yarn through make one chain pull the other strand of the yarn backward and that will give it a hold and then i'm going to make two chains i turn my work and i'm going to be showing you this pattern in this pattern you don't place it directly on the stitch but you go down into the stitch itself and you make a front stitch a double crochet into the front stitch if you watch you understand what i'm saying then next you're going to be placing it backwardly you place the double crochet backwardly on that stitch the body of the stitch not the normal two stitches above it but the bone itself the bone of the stitch so you're going to be placing one double crochet forward one double crochet backward like this one double crochet forward one double crochet backward so you continue doing one double crochet forward one double crochet backward so this is how to do the backward you pull your crochet hook through it you yarn over pull it out and you finish up your double crochets so continue doing your one double crochet forward one double crochet backward so you continue that till you get to that corner where i place six stitches and i'll show you what to do next in order to create the corner for your braco because you want like a triangular look for your cup so once you get to the corner i'll show you how to create that triangular look now i'm at the corner this is the first stitch of the six stitches so i will be placing on the first one a backward stitch i call it backward stitch now you should understand what i mean then on the front the next one i'll place a forward stitch that's the second one then on the third stitch i'm going to be placing two forward like two double crochet into the forward stitch you make the first 
double crochet on that same bone you place another one double crochet to make it two forward and uh, stitches with your double crochet then you chain one on the next you place again two forward double two double crochets forwardly like on the forward part the front part you place two double crochets don't know if you get what i'm saying then you place your backward crochet on the next one so you're having um two double crochets on the front one chain and two double crochets again at the front then you continue your one double crochet at the front one double crochet at the back one double crochet at the front one double crochet at the back so you continue downward to get to the end where you will have to change your color and then you continue the same thing till you get to the fourth row and i will show you exactly what to do don't forget to always place when you get to the corner to always place your two double crochets i'll show you that when i get to the fourth row how to go about it now this is the fourth row i've done three already because the center one make it one row i've done three so we now at the fourth row at the fourth row you start to increase the corners in order to keep it straight you don't want it going curved so we are going to be increasing this corner so i'm attaching my new color the peach color then i'll do my normal two chains you have to increase this corner i repeat myself or else you won't like the shape that will come out you'll be having a c at the end of your curve the base of your curve so you turn your work after doing three chains and you place one double crochet first on its own then on that same row there is a bone there if the bone is connected on a backward stitch you're going to stitch a backward stitch to it if it's a forward stitch you're going to stitch the forward stitch to it I don't know if you understand what i'm saying like if you finish and the bone after that stitch you make is a forward stitch you stitch your forward stitches to the forward stitches the backward stitches to the backward stitches like what i'm doing now so you stitch forward stitch backward stitch forward stitch following how your stitch is placed already you don't stitch forward stitch the backward stitch and backward stitch the forward stitch that will spoil this pattern that i'm using so i'm going to continue to the corner then i'll show you how to place the corner on the on the what i told you i will explain already on the two double uh, front stitches to have i'll show you how to place you the next one i had to jump to make this video sh as short as i could but now i'll show you how to do that so you continue till you get to the corner so now i'm at the corner now you have the first backward stitch okay the two double stitches sorry what you're going to do the first double stitch you're going to do a backward stitch to it then the one double stitch before the one chain you will place two double crochets forwardly to it this is a bit complicated but just follow along now the second one then you chain one and on the next you place two double forward crochets to it before you now do a backward stitch to the remaining of the two double crochets you have at the base already you place a backward double crochet on it then you continue your one forward crochet two forward two back one backward sorry one forward one backward one forward backward downward till you get to the base where i'll show you how to end it so that is what i'm telling you you now see what i'm saying two one first at the back two at the front one chain two at the front one at the back 
then you continue your crocheting when i get to the best i'll show you what to do next on how to still increase your best in order to have a straight triangle as straight as you can so at the best now you're going to do it to you get to the last stitch you have at the base you will do your one forward normal one forward one backward till you get to the last stitch at that last stitch if it was a backward stitch you do the backward stitch and you're going to be placing one extra double crochet there to expand it then you cut your yarn and pull it out to make a slip knot not it then you attach your new color which is pink that we are going to be using now you can now see it's getting more straight rather than curve i'm warning you if you don't do this you end up having a curved base so you attach your yarn again the pink yarn then you're going to be placing making three chains then on that same stitch you turn your work on that same stitch you place one double crochet first before you start your one forward one backward depending on the stitch you have there already you either do a forward stitch or a backward stitch i was having a forward stitch here so i'm going to be making a forward stitch then the next one will be a backward stitch so you continue your forward stitch backward stitch forward stitch backward stitch forward stitch with two double crochets I'm going to be continuing doing the one stitch forward, one stitch backward. You stitch the backward stitch to the backward stitch and the forward stitch to the forward stitch. So right now you can see from here I'm having um, double crochets on the uh, forward and do double crochets backward. So I'll be stitching this one to the forward stitch because I was having a forward stitch there hope you understand and i will stitch the back to the back so i'll be continue doing that forward and backward stitch forward and backward stitch forward and backward stitch until i get um to the other end then i'll still show you how to be increasing the work when i'm at the other end now I'm at the other end, so I'm going to stitch till I have one stitch left. When I have um, one stitch left, I'll be making two double crochet stitches into that very um, one stitch that I have left. That's how you keep increasing the corners in order to straighten it up. I've told you before, if you don't do this, you'll end up having a C-shaped base of the curve and that is not what you want. So I'm going to cut my yarn now. So I'm going to continue doing the same thing till I have the full coverage for my cup, which mine was the 14 rows in total. So I'm at the 14th row now. I'm going to show you what to do once you get to your full coverage. Like when you place it against your breast and you're satisfied with the coverage you have, that's your own cup size. So mine, I used 14 rows in total for my full coverage. So now I'm going to show you what to do next. Once you get to the end of your last row, you're going to um, straighten the base of the cup. So in order to do that, you watch what I'm going to do now. I'm making my last stitch and I'm going to show you how to place your stitches on the base. This base, I'm taking each of the space as um, my stitch. For instance, we have the pink space, the peach space. I will take that as each of my stitch. So in each of them, I'm going to be placing two double crochets. In each of it, I'll be placing two double crochets. So now I'm placing two double crochet at the pink space, which is my first stitch. The next one is the peach stitch. I will be placing two double crochet as well. And also I'll be talking in all these um, loose um, yarn. Yeah. 
that I'm having at the best because when I was changing the color, I just left them hanging there. So I'll be tugging, tugging them in right now by just straightening it along the line and I will crush it um, over it with the stitches. So I'll continue placing two double crochet stitches on each of the space each of these space to double crochet don't forget that because you might end up um, crunching up your base if you're placing one one double crochets might not really like the outcome but if you place two double crochet each it will straighten it up and makes it look better so you can see already how it looks very nice so I'll continue doing that till I get to the end of the base and I'll show you what to do next. So now I'm at the end of the base and I'm go I'm still having this um, loose strand hanging out, those ones that I couldn't get up in alone. So I'll show you how to trim that off and make it look very neat so that you won't have any loose strand hanging out. So I'm placing my two double crochets in the beach before the pink that is the final space. Now I've placed, I'm placing two double crochets on the pink and that is the last space that I have. Once I place that two double crochets, I'm going to pick my scissors and trim off that excess strands that we have. And once I trim it off, I'm going to make one single crochet again to seal up everything, conceal everything in so that you don't have any strand hanging out. And after that, I will make my slip stitch and cut off my yarn. Now I'm going to start again by making another design on the base because I want it to also apply the peach color in a different design so i'm going to show you how i'll be making this stitch i call this stitch bean stitch i don't really know what it's called but i call it bean stitch so i'll be showing you how i make the bean stitch but first of all i'll place um on the first two stitches i'll be placing double crochets on the first two stitches at the beginning i'll make one double crochet on each of them then i'll start placing the bean stitches stitches sorry till I get to the end where I will also place another two uh, double crochets on the last two stitches. So this is how I make the bean stitch. I'll skip one stitch. Then on the next stitch, I'll be doing this. Um, I'll put my crocheting hook in that stitch. Yarn over. Pull it out yarn over then put it back into the stitch yarn over yarn over put it back into the stitch yarn over my hook then i'll pull everything out of the loops i've created in total i'll be having six loops on my i'll be having six loops on my crocheting hook before i pull everything out i pull the yarn out of the six loops then you make one single crochet that's one chain when you pull everything out don't forget to make one chain in order to create the stitches i'll be showing you later so you put let me show you again what i'm doing you have you going to be having six as i said six of this loop on your crocheting hook before you yarn over and pull your yarn through the six loops and then make one chain before you continue. So one, two, three times, making it a total of six loops on the yarn and you yarn over. I'll show you why you have to make that one chain once I want to start another stitch on this. So you are going to continue doing that. If you like this design, if you don't like you can just stretching up your work with um, either sing, uh, single stitches, double stitches or uh, one and a half a, a stitch. 
and crush it but i wanted to make this design because it kind of make my bra looks really nice so i'll continue doing that till i get to the end where i'll show you how to end this very row and i'll show you what to do next you can see how nice it looks so when i get there i'll let you see the top size your cup to your straps your cups to your straps you can now see it i'm done it's looking very nice and the pattern is out of heaven <laughs> so now this is my strap that i made already and these are the cups i'm going to be attaching it now so you're just going to watch i don't really know how to explain this with words but if you watch this video and you follow along you'll be able to understand and do exactly what i'm doing so i'm starting off by joining my yarn and making three chains then i'll place this strap on the chain that i've made and try to like turn my hook i will yarn over turn my hook over the strap into the stitch and then i'll make double crochet over the um strap i don't really i've told you i don't really know how to explain this but the video can explain it that's the best way i can explain it you yarn you're making double crochet so you're going to yarn over your hook then yarn over the strap to oh i don't know how to explain this just watch and you'll understand like you're stitching over like when you're, you were talk, talking in the uh, loose yarns uh -huh. that's what you're doing here like you yarn over it and you make your double crochet over the strap <laughs> you make your double crochet over the straps so you're going to continue making your double crochet over the straps so in that way you're having this strap being movable along the line and make sure you straighten your strap while trying to um yarn over it because you don't want it turning inside that will end up making your bra bumpy so you don't want that so you straighten it while you are yarning you don't want it turning while you're yarning you want to keep it straight till you yarn along and get to the end you don't want it turning it will make it look bumpy and that won't be nice so you're going to continue yarning till you get to the end of the row so if you would like to see how i will make the bikini bottom of this bikini top you leave a comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel so i'm going to continue doing this till i get to the end then i'll show you how to end everything please if you really want to see the bikini bottom you got to leave the comments below so i'm at the end now i'm going to um make the last stitch don't skip any stitch i'll stitch into the last stitch and i'm going to make a slip knot and not my work cut my yarn and not my work and then i'm going to show you how i end and hide the remaining piece of yarn that i had left see how lovely it looks so i've yarn i've chained and i've cut my yarn i make it a little bit longer because i still want to knot it twice before yarning it so into the next stitch i will place a slip stitch and i will knot my work and into the next stitch again i'll do the same thing i'll knot it again then i'll hide the yarn because i'm 
satisfied with how well it is tied. So I hide the remaining yarn and cut the excess off. <coughs> I'm going to hide it in such a way that I'm satisfied with the way it's hidden because I don't want it popping out anytime soon. This is just to make sure that it's well secured and it's not going nowhere. I don't want suffering this much and at the end I, my work gets loosened in a few days. So I'm going to be using this for quite a long while. So now you can see I'm done doing that. I'm going to attach the other cup and then I'll do my hand straps where yeah, I'll strap it to my neck. And note, we are having two sides of this cup. You don't want to attach the opposite side with the opposite side. You want to align it. We have the pink side. I call this the pink side and the peach side. You can see these lines here. This side is peach while this other side is pink so you can now see this cup is very lovely and very adjustable now it's time to attach my straps for the hands so i'll do that by attaching my hook to the either side of the one chain i was having in the corner so i'm attaching it to one side that i have at the corner and I'll be making 120 chains that will be enough for my hand strap I'm done with the 120 chains I'm going to cut my yarn and not my work then I'll go back to the base and I'll jump that very single um, stitch that was created with the with the um, one chain when I was making the cup and I will attach my pitch yarn and make like a chain or two depending on how you want your work to be so now I'm going to attach it with this pink I'm attaching the pitch with the pink with a slip stitch and I'm going to continue doing slip stitch on the pink chains that I have already I'll use the pitch and be doing the slip stitch on the pink I have already till I get to the last chain which is 120 chains so I'll do that till I get to the last chain and I'll show you what to do next you can see how it's looking it's very nice and it's strong already you don't have to have a problem it will support you all the way <laughs> so now I'm at the um, I'm at the end of the stitch, so I'm going to make my last slip stitch. Then I will cut my yarn. I will make one chain, cut my yarn, and not my work. And now you have these two strands hanging out. <laughs> so to that two strands, I'm going to knot it two or three times to keep it secure. And I will trim off the excesses. I'll show you how to trim it off in order not to have a problem anytime soon. So I knot it three times and I'll trim off the excess having just a little rope hanging out like that. So at the base also I will knot it three times and then I'm going to hide my stitches. I'm going to hide those, sorry, I'm going to hide those um, remaining yarn that is hanging out before trimming off the excess. The reason for hiding is to keep it more secure. You don't have to fear anything because if you cut it very close to your knot, there is a probability that it might loosen up and you don't want that. So I hide it along the stitches and I'll cut off the excesses with my scissors. Cutting off my excess with the scissors. 
So I'm going to go ahead and add the other hand straps and I will show you the finished look of this work. So now I'm done. You can now see the finished look of the work. I aligned everything, make it seamless. It's very lovely. So thank you so much for watching. If you think this video was helpful, please don't forget to click the like button. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like to see more of videos like this. I do other stuff, makeup tutorials, um, sewing tutorials, simple sewing tutorials and more. So you don't forget to subscribe. To my youtube channel and click the notification box below you can tag me when you make yours on tiktok at finish makeover thank you so much for watching bye